Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Illustrated Catholic Bible from Catholic Bible Press. Okay, I'm back with a full review of the Illustrated Catholic Bible. Now, I've already done an unboxing video with this Bible and it got a little bit out of hand. So I've never actually told someone to stop watching a video and go watch another one of my videos. But if you haven't seen that video, you might want to check it out because it really does give you my first impressions of this Bible. I made it through kind of the, the meat of the video, what I was setting out to do. But then things got a little bit crazy. You might see in the, in the um, cover photo of the video that Becca came running to rescue me. So it got a little bit out of hand. It was just a fun kind of behind the scenes video so to speak so that was a lot of fun but I, I've now spent some time with this Bible I'm really impressed with it I love what Catholic Bible Press has done with this one it's a really great Bible all around and I think that there's some very unique features of it that make it really special so I'm excited to show this to you before we dive in hit that like button and subscribe to the channel this is the illustrated Catholic Bible from Catholic Bible Press Okay, first things first, here's the box. Illustrated Catholic Bible, the Holy Scriptures featuring 500 Venetian illustrations from the 16th century. There you see this is the black leather soft edition. Really nice looking box. You have this design. That's one of the illustrations that's in Genesis. It is the New Revised Standard Version, the Catholic edition. Um, on the side, we get Illustrated Catholic Bible. Looks really sharp. You see Catholic Bible Press. So this is part of HarperCollins Christian Publishing. So it's a a sister company of Thomas Nelson and Zondervan. There's all the specs in the back, and there's the Bible itself. This is a very nice, lovely um, leather soft with a paste down liner. And there is another edition of this that's a, a genuine leather overboard. And I believe my friend Tim Nichols over at a Nicholsworth Bible Reviews has a copy of that one on his channel. So this is a really nice, kind of shiny leather soft. You see all this embellishments on the outside, the gold. Um, artwork, that design on the cover, perimeter stitching around the outside. The spine here is really nice. It's got raised spine hubs. It's got all the different, it's got one of those images in there and then the title and the, the inner NRSV translation. Looks really, really sharp. And then what you're really going to want to notice on these is the way they did the art gilding. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Look at that. Wow. That is so cool that they did this like design. On the art gilding that just looks really really sharp and it's got that nice gold sheen to it so really really lovely it's got a sewn binding it's edge it's a paste down liner but that looks really sharp on the inside i noticed in some of my recent videos that i say that looks really sharp all the time so maybe i should stop saying that and use something else as far as size goes it's a six and a quarter inches wide it's nine and a quarter inches tall and it's just a hair under two inches on the spine you get the thickness so it's a big bible kind of has that study bible um, look and feel as far as the overall size goes but a really nice i mean this is let me see the back of this box here the retail price of this one is 80 dollars so it, it's not going to be super expensive to get one of these um, and it looks really nice it feels good so opening it up on the inside we get uh, title page presentation page the holy bible NRSV looks good. Here is your copyright page. It says Catholic Bible anglicized text, so it is an anglicized edition. It does have a 2K Denmark typeface. It's not the NRSV comfort print. It's a Catholic uh, comfort print typeface, which is really cool. I really love the look of this one in here. So table of contents about this Bible. So this is an information here about the um, woodcut imagery that was used. They found a Bible from, uh, from the 1500s and they used the artwork from that Bible. It's really, really interesting, very cool. So there's a lot of information about um, the addition and the process and the reproduction process of that artwork. There you have your abbreviations page. Another one. This is the preface to the New Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition. The anglicized editions, you get all the information, the to the reader here from the translation committee on the NRSV, and then we jump into the Old Testament. So there you see right on page one, you get this really beautiful image. Let me pull this up so you can see it. I mean, look at that. Really cool. 
single column text. There is a, a call out here um, for each one of the images, so it kind of gives you some information about the image. But there you see single column text. It's going to have wide margins, and it's going to have textual footnotes at the bottom of the page. Here we go. It's kind of the, the, a different setup here with two images. If I open this up, you see there's a page with three images. When you get deeper into the Bible, I mean, I haven't turned to a page without an image yet, but if you get deeper into the Bible, there are going to be pages like this that don't have any imagery on them. It's really front-loaded in Genesis and Exodus, and there's a bunch of them in the Gospels and Revelation. But just so you see this page, like this, if, you, if you're not worrying about the imagery, right, you get a nine and a half um, Catholic comfort print font, which looks really sharp. I'll bring that up in a second. I didn't get any information on how thick the paper is, but it's there's not a lot of ghosting on these pages right here where you're just text on text. When you get to a page that has, you can see some of the imagery on the back side of that one, you can see that it kind of bleeds through a little bit because it's not um, over the exact part where the text is, but this looks really nice. Um, it says high quality paper, but it, it, it feels good. You get a 1.75 inch margin and a single column text that is fully out of the gutter. So I think of this when I just set aside, oh, I like the imagery. When it just comes to a Bible that's really beautiful and easy to use, I love the look of this single column text. Big wide margins. It's free of the gutter. To me, this is a very well-designed, lovely Bible that, that just looks really, really sharp. And then you get all of these beautiful images as you go throughout the Bible to kind of just... Um, underscore what the text is saying to kind of highlight some of it to just give you some visual I love I've talked about this on my channel before if you are a visual learner as you're reading the text to just kind of soak in these images read the little call out it really does help kind of just approach the text in a different way but also I like that this Bible when you don't have images on the page you get a really great text block that I think is very comfortable to read so let me bring this up so you can just see the text again this is a nine and a half point like look at this word right here uh, shook it. it has that little embellishment on the T. Sorry, I'm trying my new, a different camera, and it is looking pretty, it looks better than my phone, but I'm kind of getting used to the, the uh, focusing here. But really lovely text, nine and a half point, it's comfortable. When you get down here on the, on the main page, just lay out, again, really wide open. There's a lot of room here to take notes, even on the pages that have um, the image with the call out, you still have space here. So looks really sharp. There are two ribbons. I don't think I mentioned that down here, a gold ribbon and a black ribbon on this one that look nice. We get um, kind of moving through. It does have verse by verse uh, poetic setting for the books of poetry, for the poetic sections of the text. When we get into the New Testament, so here's the transition from the Old Testament to the New Testament, and then you get into Matthew. So again, a lot of images in the in the Gospels. It's a black letter text. Looks really, really this, this is a, just a well-designed Bible, and, and I loved the gilding on the pages. I love the images. It just it looks very nice. So when we get to the end of the Bible, again, a lot of images in Revelation. They're really, they're really going for it here. So the last page of Revelation. Almost a 2,000 page Bible. This is 1933. Then you get the NRSV Concise Glossary and Concordance, three columns. Very easy to read. I like that it has those glossary entries in there as well as the concordance. And then at the very end, you get, oh, there is an illustration index. This is very helpful. So if you want to be able to look up where all of the illustrations are in this Bible, that is awesome. So it has them by book. It tells you what the illustration is, where you can find it on the page. I think that's very, very helpful. It also references which verses in the book that it goes to. And then you have a set of glossy Bible maps, uh, quite similar to the ones that you'd find in the other uh, HarperCollins Christian publishing Bibles. But overall, that is a gorgeous Bible well-designed, a lot of very interesting features. Just a unique Bible. I, I, I wonder sometimes if it being called the Illustrated Catholic Bible will make people think that it's like for kids because it's illustrated, but this is definitely a really cool Bible for, for anyone. I think kids would love it, but I also, I'm an adult. I'm an adult, I'm a kid at heart, but I, I think this is an awesome Bible. So there you have it. That's the Illustrated Catholic Bible from Catholic Bible Press. I would love to know what you think about this one. So leave me a comment and let me know. And if you'd like to pick up a copy, I'll put some links in the description of the video to where you can purchase one of these. I'll also put a link to BibleReviewBlog.com where I'll have some more information about this Bible as well. 
Look for us on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community out there on social media that we would love for you to be a part of. And before you go, once again, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I've got a ton of great Bible reviews and unboxing videos and lots of other Bible-related content on my channel, so definitely check that out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.